Hi, I'm Katrina Gentry, and this is my Theater 201 final. This quarter, we watch many movies and some short films. My favorite film of this quarter was Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Vine. It was a beautifully made movie with a com- semi-confusing plot. It starts off with the feeling of it being the usual romantic comedy, with a boy falling in love with a girl, making some sort of mistakes in the relationship, then them getting back together. But this wasn't the case. Yes, it has all the right building blocks of a rom-com, but there was some futuristic science thrown into it. It starts off with Clementine and Joel shown together on the beach, meeting for what we assume is the first time. As the movie goes on, we learn that nothing that happens was for the first time. They had already met each other and fallen in love, just didn't remember because they had both completed procedures to erase each other from their minds. Most of the movie takes place in Joel's mind during the procedure. You can see him fighting the procedure because he realizes that he doesn't want to forget her. He wants to remember everything. Their good moments, their fights, everything. Of course, the whole plot has more to it than just two people falling in love. You can see that one of the men that performs the procedure has taken information from Joel's and Clementine's memory and uses it to get to know Clementine and make her fall in love with him. This film is obviously a narrative with a bit of rom-com and sci-fi thrown in there. The sci-fi aspect comes from the procedure. Obviously, this equipment isn't available in today's world. If it was, who wouldn't use it? In narrative films, there's a sense of repetition, which is very apparent in this film. Everything that's being done after the procedure was done already before. We can tell the time based on the color of Clementine's hair. When they're meeting for the second time, she had blue hair instead of a bright orange. Or even the repetition of him feeling these urges to go to the beach where they had met the first time. It was like he was drawn to her. The casting of this film was also brilliant. They used Jim Carrey as the main character, which gives the impression that it'll be a comedy instead of a serious movie about love. Joel is obviously a socially awkward, middle-aged man that's not really looking for love. They casted Kate Winslet, sorry if I slaughtered her last name, as Clementine. She isn't as well-known as Jim Carrey which allows the audience to have no set opinion on her and her character. Clementine ends up being the character that acts the same way that she looks. She always has crazy hair with crazy colors and also some crazy ideas, like going out into the middle of a frozen lake in the middle of the night. Elijah Wood is cast as Patrick, the man who uses Joel's memories to win over Clementine. Elijah Wood almost always plays just a nasty, slimy character that you can't trust. When he was introduced on the film, my first thought was that he was going to do something stupid or harmful, which he did. He tried to cheat love, which is never a good idea. One scene that sticks out in my own memories is when he was talking to the other man during the procedure about how he stole Clementine's underwear. Obviously, this is not a stable man. All this being said, I enjoyed the movie and were would recommend watching it if given the chance.